Hello YouTube geeks, this is Justin again, and welcome to tutorial number four. This is a series on YouTube on Oracle Database Administration, hosted by yours truly. Now, if you remember from our last video series, the last thing we did was we created an Oracle database, and it's a blank Oracle database, which uh, we left off, It was, it's, we created it, and we started it up. So it's now running, up and running, on our Microsoft Windows Vista uh, computer system, which is uh, running on an IBM Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. Um, and that's the C prompt, the DOS prompt that you're looking at right here. Um, so we created our database and it's up and running. It's a, it's a database named Finance, F-I-N-A-N-C-E, and it's going to hold all the financial information for our hypothetical corporation that we made up, company ABC123. So what's the next step? Well, the next step in this process is we should really think about a backup strategy. But before we think about a backup strategy, we need to define what a computer backup is. Well, computer backup is the process of backing up your data, which usually reside in files, to a from your primary hard disk on your computer system to a secondary location whether it be an externally attached USB hard disk or um, in the case of a big IT corporate environment a tape backup uh, system or it could be another or it could be a, another directory or in the Windows world what they call folders um, on the same computer system of course the latter would be kind of uh, defeat the purpose of backups because if you, if you lose your whole computer system you would lose your backup but that's actually the method we're going to use on, in this video. Uh, in a real environment, you wouldn't do that, but uh, wouldn't make, it's, uh, that'd be a big no-no. But since uh, this is just a video, we're okay. Um, so we're just doing a tutorial here. So, um, that being the case, then why would you want to back up byte for byte your files to other location? Well, you'd want to protect them in, in case there's a catastrophic, in the event of a catastrophic failure, such as your entire computer system um, going down, or um, say you have a computer failure, or um, your files getting logically corrupted somehow, or some other type of problem, hardware failure, or user error, or even a malicious type of uh, type of act as someone going in and deleting your files or something. So to back up our Oracle database, even though it's even though it doesn't have a lot of useful data for our company ABC123 right now, or vital data I should say, we still want to develop a strategy for backing it up. So the first thing we need to do is let's go to the location um, on disk where we created our database. If you remember, we part of our database creation process in our last tutorial was to run the create db.sql script which had a create database command in it that we executed via SQL plus and we told that create database command via parameters where on the computer systems disk we, we want we want it to create the Oracle database files so we're going to go to that location now if I can type it so I just moved to c colon slash database or data finance and if I do a directory list, and I see all the files which collectively make up our finance Oracle database. One control file, three redo log files, sysaux system, temp, and undo. Now, I'm going to make my backup location directory now. And we're going to DIR it to ensure that it created successfully, which it did, and see that it's currently empty, which it is. So now what we remember our database is currently up and running. Now what we're going to do is we're going to back up this database. So we're going to use a DOS command called copy. And we're going to copy all of our DBF files first. All right, let's take a look at this command. The, this command is copy. It's a DOS command, which basically means copy all the, and we're using an asterisk here, which is called a wildcard. So we're saying copy everything that ends with the extension DBF, which will be these four files, OK? Copy it to location backup one. So it's saying copy everything that begins with, that ends with the file extension .dbf, which are these four files that's in the current directory database or data finance to target location c colon backup one. Okay, so we're gonna kick it off, and this backup is gonna run.
Now this backup will only take about 30 seconds or so, uh, but in a real environment, i.e. a big credit card company or something like that, where our database is is terabytes of data, and to let you know what a terabyte is, a terabyte's a thousand gigabyte. Okay, it can take several hours to back up sometimes, so it really depends. Oracle databases can be huge. Okay, this is just a shell. The stuff that database, the data that the da that Oracle needs to just ha to just run a database. Okay, all of our DVFs are copied. Now we want to copy our redo logs. That's everything that ends with log. So our four DBFs are copied, now our four log files, three log files are copied. Now we want to copy everything that ends with CTL, our control file. Oops. That could have been dangerous. Okay. Now, if we, now our backup is done. And if we DIR our current directory, database or data finance, and we DIR our backup one directory, we will see that they're identical. One control file, three read log files, and four DBF files. So now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to simulate, now that we've taken our database backup, we're going to simulate a failure, okay, a disk failure. And how we do that is we're going to do a malicious act, we're going to, or, or a mistake. We're going to delete the files to make up our database. Okay, we say yes on the confirmation, and we are confronted with an error message. Now this is, this is, this is a general Windows thing, this isn't specific to Oracle. Windows has an internal mechanism which prevents you from deleting files that are opened by a process that is a running program that's using the files so you can't delete a, a file that's used by a program that's currently running so to release these files from the internal windows lock-in mechanism we have to shut down oracle in this in this case so we're going to log into oracle but first we're going to specify the database of which we want to log into which is finance Make sure you log into the right database, trust me, you don't want to shut down the wrong database. And then we're going to log into SQL Plus, SQL Plus will read the Oracle SID variable and will connect us to finance. And we're going to issue a shutdown command. Okay. This is shutting down our Oracle database, which is releasing those files so the internal Windows file locking mechanism won't have control of them any longer. So now when we do our delete asterisk again, asterisk being a wild card, meaning everything in this directory, database or data finance, and we say yes to our, conf to our, our confirmation, and we do a DIR, we will see that we've deleted everything um, in our database directory. So now let's try to restart our Oracle database. And it will get past this phase of startup. Uh, it will allocate our 150 meg memory area because the P file we didn't touch. That still exists. But we get this error message. It's or an error. Error in identifying control file. Check alert log for more info. That's because the control file that existed up here doesn't del doesn't exist after we didn't now doesn't exist after we deleted everything that which includes that control file from that current directory. So we're going to shut down our database again, or what is our database anyway. And we're going to copy our backup. So basically, what I'm saying is, I'm. This is called a restoration. I'm restoring R E S T O R E, um, our backup copy of our primary files, which collectively make up our Oracle database, to our current location. So this is saying copy. Okay, the, the DOS copy command C colon slash backup one slash asterisk. That's our source. So asterisk says everything that's in this directory, all these files, to dot. Dot is a special character which means um, that which specifies the location in the NTFS hierarchy. Okay, that means where you are on the file system on on you know, on the computer system disk. Okay, and that's the current directory, database or data finance. So if we do a DIR, we will see all of our files are now resurrected. They're now they're now they now reside in our database or data finance again. So, that being the case, we get, we're given Oracle what it expects. So now we should be able to issue a startup command from SQL Plus and we should get our database restarted, right? Makes sense. Ah, 
Bio One needs media recovery. What happened? I thought we just backed up the files, and then we brought in, and then we deleted the files. We 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 attempted to start up Oracle, it couldn't, and then we brought the files back, attempted to start up Oracle, and we still can't. Why? I'm giving it the files it expects. That's because you can't back up an Oracle database while it's up and running. You need to shut down the database first. So that being the case, this backup that we restored is crap. It's no good. It's invalid. So I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to recreate and I'm going to recreate the database just like we did in the last video and I'll show you the correct way to back up a database. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just recreated a database and started it up. The finance database. So the finance database is now healthy again. So that being the case, if you want to take a, a what we call a cold backup of an Oracle database, a cold backup we call it, you must first shut it down. So you connect to the database and you type in a shutdown such as this. Now what this is doing is this is shutting down the Oracle database, okay, making it what we call consistent. Okay, all the files consistent. And this will allow us to take a valid backup of our Oracle database. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy all of our DBF files to our backup location. Yes, we want to overwrite from before because that's a that's a crappy backup. I'm going to pause the video until the backup is done. Now our DBFs are done are done backing up. Now I'm going to back up our log files, overwrite our old invalid backup, and I'm going to back up our CTLs. I didn't have to do that, but whatever. And now they look identical. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing as before. We're going to Shut down our Oracle database because, if as you remember, um, oh, I did shut it down. Sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete our file, simulate a failure, try to start up our database again, and of course, it's not going to start up because our finance database files are no longer there. All right, so we're going to shut it down because it's no good. And this time, we're going to copy back over our backup. So we're restoring our backup now to our to the location that Oracle expects expects the finance files to be. And it should and it should copy over this time because it was a valid backup. I'm going to pause the video till it's done. Okay, our restoration is done. There's our files. Now, if we log into the database of SQL Plus and we do a startup, it should start up and open the database just fine. Okay, so we surmise from this that there are two types of there's two types of Oracle backups which we'll talk about: cold backups and hot backups. This is the first one, a cold backup. And this, so you see, our instance started, database mounted, state database open. Okay, so we just successfully backed up our Oracle database. So, by default in Oracle, you only have the ability to back up the database cold. And what that means is every night you're going to have to shut down your Oracle database, back up the files, and then start it back up. So you can script this in an automated fashion in a script and then have a scheduler that is built into Windows such as the at command, which is a scheduler, or um, any other scheduling product that you have, or cron, which is a scheduler in Unix, and have it back up, shut down, back up the Oracle database and bring it back up. There's a reason why you can't back up an Oracle database while it's up and running. And it has to do with transactions currently happening against the database. Okay, but we'll go into more detail on that in our next video, which is our first quote unquote advanced video. And that's called a hot backup. And a hot backup allows you to back up an Oracle database while it's up and running, while users are connected. Um, some databases need to stay up, especially databases that deal with different time zones or worldwide users. Okay, they need to be up uh, 24 by 7, 365, or as we call it in the IT biz, 25, 8, 366. All right, so thank you. I hope you learned something. Um, this is how you back up a database cold with a cold backup, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.